Hey everyone, Regnelli here, bringing you an update of, uh, let's be honest, concerning proportions. Um, some of you might be aware, some of you might not be aware, but there is, uh, quote, sweeping changes going around on YouTube and their, uh, their whole system of being able to appeal to kids. Um, but the reality of it is, is that uh, YouTube has brought out a giant spike dildo and it plans to ram it up the asses of every single content creator on YouTube, myself included. Now, I'm not saying that just to be vulgar. I'm also saying that because I don't want this video to get flagged as something that is appropriate for children, even though it's not. Um, to those that aren't aware of what this system is, um, YouTube agreed to settle uh, a case where ads, uh, personalized ads were being marketed towards kids under the age of 13 and they had to pay some hefty 100 million plus fine as well as adhere to this COPPA um, ruling by the FTC. Now, what this basically means is that YouTube is making it so content creators have to basically it's a check a box to whether or not uh, a person's content is appropriate for children. And if YouTube's age restrictions are of uh, any note, then by children, they're probably referring to those that are under 13 years of age. Now, this is troubling for a number of reasons. Um, the main one is that if you don't adhere to YouTube's demands, you will be fined $42,000 per video. So let's say you got uh, three videos that aren't uh, aren't adhering to the ruling, then you're out. You're going to be fined over a hundred grand. It's ridiculous, frankly. And the vast majority of content creators on YouTube cannot afford something like this. It is, it's troubling. It, it really is troubling. Um, and I'm, I'm saying this as a person that, you know, makes these videos as a hobby. I don't get paid for this. Um, and if I just get fined for doing something I like, then that is, um, uh, that's fucked up. Let's just be honest. It is completely fucked up. And then we have to take a look at those people that make videos on YouTube for a living. Um, those that watch my channel also might know that I'm good friends with Waffles Minion. It's not like we have some sort of um, branding relationship. No, we were high school friends and he makes content on YouTube for a living. So if he gets impacted, he's screwed. He's, he's absolutely screwed. And Here's where the problems really start to get, muddy the waters even further. So it isn't just designating on whether or not your video is intended for kids. Let's say I have a video that that can be considered as intended for kids. So um, I recently did a Minecraft video and it's uh, there was little to no swearing at all. So th that um, that video was kind of in response to one of my older videos of the same type. And so I just wanted to do it uh, uh, from scratch, new and much more clean. Now, because of my approach, because of the content of the game, it can be considered viable for a younger audience. And I would have to designate that video as something that could appeal to kids, even though my channel as a whole is not meant for kids. And if I don't, then I'm going to get fined. It's, it's just that simple. And take a look at the other videos that I've done. So like, uh, let's take uh, Monster Hunter or even Team Fortress 2, for example, the visually speaking, it's very uh, cartoony and animated when you're looking at it as a first impression. So if you're looking at those videos without context, without audio, 
you can might be able to think that these could appeal to kids, especially Team Fortress 2, because you know that's uh, that series is really cartoon-like in appearance. And I bring this up because YouTube is probably going to implement an automated system in order to detect what is following the ruling and what is not. And that's a big problem because, as we all probably know, the adpocalypse a few years back where they had this uh, sweeping changes to their content ID system really screwed over creators. And so now they're doing the same thing, but trying to detect whether or not videos are appropriate for kids. And if they screw up, the content creators suffer. It's fucked up on a level that, honestly, it feels like extortion. It's either the content creators adhere to the demands of YouTube, or they're going to get fined for something that 99% of creators on YouTube would not be able to afford. It's, it's that simple. And it all falls down onto the predicate that parents are above discipline for their kids. And here's what I mean. So if you're a parent and you have a kid, you're responsible for what that kid sees, hears, and does. You know, that's that's part of being a parent. So if you have a kid that is going on YouTube and checking out channels like mine, that's that's not my fault. That's the parent's fault. It all falls down to parenting. And even then, YouTube has something called uh, YouTube Kids, which uh, frankly I know nothing about, but I can only reasonably assume that it's meant for kids. So having content creators suffer for the mistakes of YouTube and the mistakes of parenting is, uh, it's frankly unacceptable. Um, I went ahead and voice my opinion on a, a regulations.gov uh, site so I've uh, I've expressed my concerns and, and in a not so vulgar way thank God um, but you know I, th I believe the actual ruling will start taking effect uh, in January 2020 and as of the time of this recording uh, YouTube has already sent out a demand email from me to designate my channel as uh, kid friendly or not. Now here's the problem for me in particular. I have over 700 videos on YouTube over the span of over seven years. So I have a lot of shit to go through. And frankly, I think I'm gonna do some mass deletion, especially of the older videos because well, the quality wasn't that good anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna have to delete all my Minecraft stuff. Uh, probably delete any of the Let's Plays that I had uploaded, even though those are ancient. Um, but yeah, I'll probably just keep the the Monster Hunter stuff, the Team Fortress 2 stuff. But aside from that, it's it all falls down onto whether or not this automated system that YouTube is likely going to use in order to determine uh, whether or not a, uh, a video is kid-friendly just depends on if that's going to work, which from if the content ID fiasco was any reference, then this is probably going to end in a disaster. And so, you know, I just want to let you all know of my thoughts on it. I think it's completely fucked up. Um, definitely smells of extortion. <laughs> and frankly, if you're a parent out there and you're letting your kids watch YouTube without restraint, or hell, even if you're giving your kids an iPad at like the age of seven, you fucking blew it as a parent. Like, what the hell? It's it's one of those things where like you have to step up to the plate and be a parent. You cannot let technology and the internet parent your kid. Otherwise, you get places like Reddit and 4chan. So, yeah, you, you can see where the disasters are coming. Um... But yeah, uh, I'm I'm gonna be looking through my videos. I'm gonna be do deleting a bunch of stuff. Um, probably gonna have to delete all of my uh, all my SFM art. And yeah, it's this. Frankly, this just sucks. It really does. So I wanted to keep you guys in the loop of uh, what's gonna go down. And uh, hopefully this blows over. 
The last thing I want to do is delete my channel because of something that YouTube is doing because they fucked up and parents are fucking up and an outrageous ruling. In the end, the creators are getting screwed and I don't really see a whole lot of people talking about it. This is something that really needs to be looked at. If you're someone that doesn't make any videos on YouTube, you're probably going to be safe. But for the most part, but yeah, we're probably going to need some good fortune in the upcoming months. Anyways, that's my time. Thank you guys for watching this uh, very depressing update. And I hope you guys have, well, frankly, a very less depressing day. Anyways, take care, people.